A maximum security prison, the Pendleton Correctional Facility in Madison County, Indiana. Not a place. It's a sanctuary, literally. You would expect to find a sanctuary where cats find peace and promise. You can have them sitting there and like feel the vibrations of them purring and everything. And I mean, it just, it brightens you up and it, it helps, it helps you feel a lot better. They're caretakers, inmates who are behind bars for committing major crimes. They are carefully pre-screened and must complete an interview to be part of the Feline and Offenders Rehabilitation with Affection, Reformation and Dedication Program known as FORWARD. It's just, it's this bright place that you can look forward to and like, I mean, I just look at them like they're my buddies, you know, I'll like sit there and talk to them and they'll meow back and I mean, we just, we just have a nice time. Inmates like Nate Bowles and Richard Simmons spend several days a week, many hours a day. Feeding and looking after the cats, as well as cleaning the sanctuary, which opened in 2015. It was built through donations and constructed by prisoners. Cushions line the chairs, cubbies cover the walls, and beds blanket the table. It is a place of calm and of second chances. When we share something so incredible, like the pain in life, it brings a light to us. The cats come from the Animal Protection League in Anderson. Many of them were abandoned on the streets, others abused. Some cats come here unadoptable, afraid of people, unwilling to be touched. And it's very important for us to, to help these animals that can't really help themselves. For one, it you, makes you want to behave because you don't want to lose your privilege to come see the one thing that's the best part of your day. And, but it also gives you things to do. It gives you something to care about and it gives you, you know, purpose. Forward received the ASPCA Advocate of the Year Award in 2022. An honor for sure, but perhaps even more gratifying is what the people who work at the prison have witnessed in terms of how the inmates now behave and interact with each other as well as staff. I've got several of the workers that have made great changes. They've straightened up, there's no conduct out of them, they're polite, they're respectful. Sergeant Reinhardt says what they learn here is crucial within the prison and when some get released. Things like a good work ethic, responsibility, love, and empathy. Absolutely. They um, normally are, become a little bit more uh, soft-spoken and they have learned to have a little bit more patience. And I think their understanding is better. The bonds between the inmates and these little guys may be formed in a place of confinement, but for the cats, the shackles of doubt and fear are unlocked through the persistence and patience of prisoners. We had this one and he, he was like a statue for like three days. I mean, just petrified, wouldn't even run from you. He was so scared. I've gotten him to the point like I can pick him up and put him on my lap. The goal is to get these cats adopted. Those who aren't will remain here, but so far dozens have found new homes. Whenever you see something growing up from a kitten and you spend years with it and then it goes away, you got to remember that it's better, something's better. You know what I mean? Everything is for a better reason. Cats, once unwanted and often mistreated, now have plenty of room to roam without reserve and happily absorb the attention they never had but always deserved. You can see the results of what you do by how they approach you and how much friendlier they are. And I mean, they, they accept all the love that you give and then they give it right back. And it's, it's just nice. It's really reciprocal and it's wonderful. Ironic that these sweet and innocent creatures came to a prison to find freedom and maybe one day soon a new family. For Pep House TV, I'm Renee Jameson.